Hey guys, how's it going? So this is Acer Aspire 5 Slim Series laptop and this is currently the best selling laptop on Amazon. So there are two versions of this laptop which are selling like hotcakes. One is the Intel version which goes for about $500 and then there is an AMD version which is selling for about $300. I have already reviewed this laptop in detail uh, in my previous videos on this channel and I will throw a link in the description. You can go and check out those videos if you want to find out a detailed review of this laptop. But the focus of today's video is actually not to reviewing the laptop i want to focus on these two configurations the 500 dollar intel versus 300 dollar amd version so let's take a closer look at the intel and the amd version it's not just the processors which are different there are a whole bunch of uh, you know subtle differences between these two configurations. so if you look at this chart here obviously the cpus are different the intel one is core i5-8265u whereas the 300 dollar version is using uh, ryzen 3 3200u processor so in addition to the cpu the gpu is also different the intel configuration has the intel uhd graphics 620 this is the built-in graphics that comes with the intel uh, core i5 processor whereas the amd configuration is using the radeon vega 3 graphics now when it comes to storage more expensive version has 256 gigabyte of ssd storage and 8 gigabyte of ddr4 ram whereas the cheaper version has uh, half of these so the intel version comes with a full windows 10 home edition whereas the amd version comes with a gimped version of windows and and Microsoft sells it under the name Windows 10 S mode and uh, the S stands for shit. So it's basically Windows 10 shit mode. So the, the price for Intel is $510, whereas the AMD is selling for about $314. So this is the price of uh, the laptops when I made this video. I will throw a link in the description. You can check those links to find the current price. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the CPU. So the biggest difference between the Intel and the AMD uh, CPU is that the Intel processor has uh, four physical cores and eight threads, whereas the AMD processor has only two cores and four threads so right out of the gate you are basically getting a significant performance gain with the intel version it has twice the number of cores and twice the number of threads if you look at the maximum operating frequency or the turbo frequency the intel processor is capable of going all the way to 3.9 gigahertz whereas the amd processor goes to 3.5 gigahertz so what does all this mean right these are all the technical mumbo jumbo so let's simplify the performance by looking at uh, some benchmark so this is the pass mark single thread performance of both these uh, CPU the Intel Core i5 is scoring 2145 points whereas the AMD Ryzen processor is scoring 1588 points so you see quite a big difference in performance between the Intel and the AMD processor now note that this is just the single core single thread performance as I showed you guys before the Intel CPU actually has eight threads and four cores as opposed to four threads and two cores for the AMD so the overall performance to get a better idea of that we have to look at the overall uh, benchmark this is the cpu mark rating and here intel uh, core i5 is scoring 8026 points whereas the amd ryzen 3 is scoring about 4584 points so that's a whopping 75 percent performance lead by intel okay what about the graphics like i said before the intel configuration comes with the intel integrated graphics this is the uhd 620 graphics whereas the amd processor they don't have built-in graphics so you have a extra chipset which is the uh, vega 3 graphics and in most of the benchmarks the graphics performance between these two is comparable some of the gaming performances do give amd an edge but there is one big caveat and this is with respect to video encoding so if you plan to use your laptop for video encoding then the intel configuration actually has an advantage and this is because the intel cpus support what is known as intel quick sync intel quick sync is basically a hardware accelerated uh, video encoding uh, solution which intel offers and when you use adobe suite or the vinci resolve or any video editing software which dramatically improves the video encoding performance so this is one area where the intel integrated graphics the uhd 620 has an edge over the vega 3 so let's briefly talk about the windows 10 s mode this is important because the expensive version of uh, your laptop the intel version is you are getting full version of windows 10 the windows 10 home edition whereas the cheaper version is coming with windows 10 s mode and like i said before windows 10 s mode is a crippled version of windows and 
and uh, if you use this version of windows you can only install software which are present in the microsoft app store and if you have ever checked out the microsoft app store it's basically a desert there are hardly any apps and whatever apps are present they are all junk apps so simple things like say for example you are a fan of uh, google browser the chrome browser or mozilla browser you won't be able to install those browsers on the windows 10 s uh, laptop because those are not supported in fact you can't install any software which is not available in the windows app store so this is a big negative on the amd version but there is a workaround and the workaround is actually completely free so microsoft does let you exit the windows 10 s mode and upgrade your uh, you know operating system to windows 10 home edition and you can do this for free you don't have to pay microsoft even one cent so the way to do this is that uh, you go to your windows start button and go to settings from there click on update and security and then click on activation so when you do that you will see your current version of windows click on go to store and uh, when you do that windows app store will launch and when the windows app store launches you will see an option to switch out of s mode so you see that blue get button uh, click on that and uh, when you click on that it will uh, start upgrading your windows 10 s mode to the windows 10 home edition okay so now let's get back to our original uh, question should you buy the 500 dollar version or should you get the 300 dollar version so now let's look at both these versions and see what are the benefits of uh, buying the more expensive laptop and can we get the same performance from the cheaper laptop by making some simple upgrades so here i have put together a table which i am calling budget upgrade so this is the bare minimum upgrade that that you can perform to make your AMD laptop as close to the Intel laptop as possible. Now, of course, it's not possible to upgrade the CPU. So if you want absolute top CPU performance between these two configuration, then you have to go with Intel. So in this uh, table, I'm showing you the upgrades that you can perform. So the Intel version comes with 256 gigabyte of SSD whereas the AMD version comes with half of that. So if you spend another $55, you can buy a 250 gigabyte of SSD and uh, you can install it in the SATA 3 slot so you don't have to remove the existing SSD which is sitting in the M2 slot. So you will end up with a total of 378 gigabyte. So now your AMD version will actually have more storage than the Intel version. And memory, you can do the same thing. Your Intel version uh, comes with 8 gigabyte of memory, whereas the AMD version comes with 4 gigabyte of memory so there are two dim slots one of the dim slots is empty and the other dim slot is populated with a 4 gigabyte uh, um, ddr4 ram so you can buy uh, the same uh, 4 gigabyte ddr4 ram for about 24 dollars and that will bring your amd configuration at par with intel configuration when it comes to memory so for a total of 79 dollar and 47 cents you will have an amd configuration of the laptop which will have more storage than the intel version it it will actually have 378 gigabyte as opposed to 256 gigabyte of SSD storage and it will have the same amount of memory 8 gigabyte of RAM and uh, your total cost will now be $393.85 so that's the cost base cost of the laptop $314 plus our upgrades of $79.47 so even after doing those upgrades you are still saving more than $100 so for $393 you can have a laptop which will basically be very close in performance to the Intel version obviously the CPU is not going to be uh, comparable but everything else will be at par by the way all the components that i am talking about the ddr4 memory module and the ssd i will throw a link in the description of all the compatible memory parts so the ddr4 uh, memory which is compatible with this laptop i have put a link in the description below and also the compatible ssd now these were the you know budget uh, upgrade options but uh, like i showed you you are still saving more than hundred dollars so here are my recommended upgrade option for the intel configuration you can upgrade uh, the 128 gigabyte storage by adding another 500 gigabyte storage for a 75 dollar upgrade you will now have a total of 628 gigabyte storage which is more than double of what the intel version is intel version is only 256 gigabyte so i think this is a pretty good uh, you know upgrade and the second upgrade that i will recommend is uh, bumping up your memory from 4 gigabyte to 16 gigabyte so the 16 gigabyte ddr4 ram will cost you 64 dollars so the total 
total upgrade price will be $139 and if you add that to the base price of the laptop which was $314 you end up with around $454. So with these upgrades you are still saving money you are still saving more than $50 but now the laptop that you have is a total kick-ass laptop it has 16 gig RAM it has 628 gigabyte of SSD storage and RAM is really important with 16 gig RAM you can launch multiple applications you can have a browser with uh, you know more than a dozen tabs and it's going to work without any stutter without any slowness and uh, like I said before the AMD Vega graphics is actually pretty good so if you're watching 4k stream from Netflix or YouTube it's going to play that without any problem so I think this configuration for most of the people this is a better configuration than the Intel version the people who would prefer Intel version are the people who actually want a kick-ass CPU performance so like I said before if you do software development or if you are planning to run an application which relies heavily on uh, you know CPU performance then it makes sense to go with the Intel version because it is 75% faster than AMD but the amount of money that you will save by going with the Ryzen 3 version you can take part of that money upgrade your RAM upgrade your SSD and you can have a laptop configuration which will kick ass so I have the AMD version of this laptop and I have upgraded the RAM on this I added 16 gig of RAM and I also upgraded the you know the storage obviously the CPU is still the same Ryzen processor but I am very happy with this uh, configuration so mostly I use this laptop for uh, watching videos Netflix YouTube I also do some casual gaming but I have used uh, some more serious work on this I do some software development you know web page development HTML I have also done some Android uh, app development using Android studio and because I added 16 gig of RAM it's actually working quite nicely so don't underestimate uh, the Ryzen processor it's actually not bad and uh, I would say for most of the people if you are willing to open the back of the laptop and uh, do the upgrades it's it's not very difficult so let me show you how you do the upgrade it's not difficult at all there are about a dozen screws that you have to remove and then once you pry open the back of the laptop as you can see the dim slots are available so the way you upgrade memory is you take the memory stick and there is a notch on the memory stick you have to match it with the uh, slot on your computer and then you have to slide it at an angle and then press it down and it will latch it will make a uh, satisfying click sound and uh, that's it that's all you need to do to upgrade your uh, RAM now for the SSD storage the M2 slot is already occupied because there is already a 128 or a 256 gigabyte of uh, SSD on your laptop based on whether you buy Intel or AMD so my recommendation is to not uh, replace that because uh, why would you want to waste that the instead use the SATA slot the SATA 3 slot which is empty and when you buy the laptop it will come with some screws and so they usually come in a polythene pouch don't throw that because you need those screws to install the SATA drive I have thrown a link in the description for the compatible SSD and I have also thrown a link for the 4 gigabyte memory upgrade if you want to double from 4 to 8 or if you want to go to 16 gigabyte and by the way you can also go to 12 gigabyte if you don't want to spend $64 to give for the 16 gigabyte upgrade you can just get one 8 gigabyte stick and you can put that in the second slot and you can keep the 4 gigabyte stick in the first slot so you will have a total of 12 gigabyte of RAM and that configuration is also going to work okay guys so I think that's all for today so like I said before you can make your choice whether you want to go with Intel or AMD based on whether you you know you want a, a laptop with kick-ass CPU performance then go with Intel for everybody else go with AMD but definitely make two changes first change is going to cost you nothing which is to get rid of the Windows 10 S mode and upgrade to full fledged version of windows that's free so everybody should do that and the second is open the back of the laptop and upgrade the RAM if you stick with 4 gigabyte of RAM then it's not going to be fun because Windows doesn't really work uh, properly with 4 gig RAM it you know you are going to struggle and RAM is cheap so definitely upgrade the RAM and uh, SSD also I will recommend that you upgrade so see, two simple upgrades so with the budget upgrade your total uh, price of the laptop would be $393.85 and the recommended upgrade will cost you $453.38 both are cheaper than the Intel version so let me know guys which laptop would you like to have do you think Intel is the better way to go or do you think uh, you should go with AMD and you know do these uh, upgrades by the way you can also upgrade the Intel laptop nobody is stopping you from doing that so you know you can get the Intel laptop and you can bump up the memory from 8 to 16 gigabyte and you can also you know add a SSD and increase the storage on the Intel laptop so that's always uh, that's also possible and everything else about these laptops is the same the chassis is the same the keyboard the screen both have 1080p full uh, HD display so everything else is the same and I've already talked about all that in my previous videos I will throw a link in the description if you guys want to check it out 
and uh, i think it's a pretty good laptop so yeah guys if you have any question or concern uh, ask in the comment section below and i will try to help you guys and if you think this video was useful then uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel i tend to cover topics like this so i will really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so the links to both the md and the intel configuration of the laptop is in the description below along with the uh, upgrade components that we spoke about and while you are there uh, do check out the official techno panda blog where we have reviews on laptops desktop pcs cameras and whole bunch of other gears so that's it guys for today i will see you in my next video bye